Hello friends, I would like to dis- just say a few words about fracture of greater tuberosity of humerus. This is humerus, this is the head of humerus, this is the greater tuberosity of humerus, this is the lesser tuberosity of humerus. So whenever there is a fracture in the greater tuberosity of humerus, when? Whenever a person falls on the shoulder joint, then this greater tuberosity may get fractured. It is not much displaced because, and uh, it, it can be commutated also, it is not much displaced. But sometimes, it can be undisplaced, but sometimes, uh, supraspinatus is attached to this muscle, greater tuberosity. So, this supraspinatus may cause displace, uh, uh, displacement of this greater tuberosity. So, if it is minimally displaced, you will just do a triangular sling, as I have said in my last class. And then immobilize the joint. If it is displaced, then you will have to do an open deduction and internal fixation. So this is the major treatment which you do for greater tuberosity of humerus as it is very small. I am not uh, elaborating it. So thank you guys for watching my next lecture. In my next class, I will explain about the fracture of shaft of humerus which is the last fracture which we see in the humerus. Uh, thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.